Now we turn to a crackdown on some college campus protests against the war in Gaza. Police used chemical irritants on demonstrators at Emory University in Atlanta. They say dozens were arrested there. Meantime, the University of Southern California announced it is canceling its main commencement ceremony over what it calls safety concerns. Jason Allen has our report. Overnight, Ohio State University joined the growing list of colleges demonstrating against Israel's war in Gaza. Earlier Thursday, a similar scene at Emory University. Social media video showed officers tearing down tents and appearing to use a taser on someone pinned to the ground. It came a day after more than 50 people were arrested at the University of Texas at Austin. Both police and protesters have at times crossed a line, says Greg Lukianoff, the president of the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. You don't have a generalized First Amendment right to you know, turn the public area of a campus into a, um, a camping ground. Um, but definitely we've seen at places like Emory and places like UT Austin, um, police uh, taking things w much, much too far. Most detained demonstrators have not been charged with violent offenses, but there have been several instances of threatening and abusive behavior. Our Nancy Chen spoke to one Jewish student at Columbia University who grew up in Israel. Many of us knew people or the music festival or that lived nearby. I'm sorry, I'm getting very emotional about that. Um, I can see you're getting emotional. And adding to that, the situation where people scream hateful speech who have harassed and attacked both verbally and physically people is just making it impossible to be here. Lukianov says the lack of constructive dialogue between both sides on college campuses points to broader failures in American academia. Campuses should be sort of citadels to self-reflection and asking yourselves, do I really understand this? What I'd benefit from talking to someone that I disagree with. And I think that universities, particularly elite universities, have gotten really bad at doing this. Here in Austin, I talked with several students who came out yesterday just to see what might happen, especially after the chaos from earlier in the week. What they saw instead was an event where both sides were able to have their say. It did get emotional at times, but Vlad, it was never out of control. All right, Jason, thank you very much.